Hello students this video is brought to you by Southern Pathshala MCQs on alternating current relation between peak value of EMF VM and the RMS value VRMS is given by that is V0 is equal to VRMS into root 2 that is option B relation between peak value of IM that is uh, EMF and RMS value of EMF it is given by that is IM is equal to IRMS into root 2 and alternating voltage V is equal to V naught sin omega is applied across a resistor current through the resistor is given by that is I is equal to I naught sin omega t okay here the phi value is equal to 0 in case of alternating voltage applied to a resistor the current and the voltage are in phase that is phi is equal to 0 average power dissipated in a purely resistive circuit is that is p is equal to vrms into irms okay uh, and uh, power factor power factor in a purely resistive circuit is equal to power factor is given by cos phi for phi is equal to 0 for resistor therefore power factor is equal to 1 cos 0 is equal to 1 phase difference between the voltage and the current in purely resistive circuit is it is 0 that is phi is equal to 0 as the frequency of ac increases resistance of res, uh, resistance of the resistor it does not depend therefore it does not change an ac of rms value 10 ampere is passed through a resistor for a certain time then a direct current of 10 ampere is passed through a same resistor for the same time now the power developed in both cases will be same because uh, this frequency of ac does not depends on the resistor the equivalent DC value or direct current value for an AC which produces the same heat loss in a resistor is in a given time is called as that is RMS value of AC. Average value of AC for one full cycle is called as uh, it is a zero because there will be a positive and negative cycles both will be same. So question number 12. An alternating voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega is applied across a capacitor. Current through the capacitor is given by I is equal to I naught into sin omega t plus phi by phi by 2 where phi is equal to pi by 2 is the phase between voltage and the current. In case of alternating voltage applied to a capacitor, current leads the voltage by an phase angle of pi by 2. An average power dissipated in a purely capacitive circuit is 0 because power factor that is power factor cos phi is equal to 0. Okay, power that is equal to VRMS into IRMS into cos phi as cos phi value is equal to 0 then you will get power factor is equal to 0. Power factor in a purely capacitive circuit is 0. Okay, that you know as phi is equal to 90 degree. Uh, phase difference between the voltage and the current in pure resistive circuit is pi by 2. An AC frequency, uh, as the frequency of AC increases, capacitive reactance, it will be decreases because Xc is equal to 1 divided by omega C is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi Fc. As F increases, Xc decreases. Capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to frequency as you seen in the above relation. 9. Capacitor offers infinite reactance to direct current because for direct current frequency is equal to 0, 1 divided by 0 is equal to infinity, therefore, therefore inf infinite resistance. Reactance uh, offered by a capacitor of the capacitance C when connected across an AC source, it is given by Xc is equal to 1 divided by omega C that we have studied. Uh, SI unit of capacitance reactance is nothing but ohm that is also a one form of resistance. An alternating voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega is applied across an inductor. Current through the inductor is given by I is equal to I naught into sin of omega t minus pi by 2. Where again phi is equal to pi by 2. In the case of alternating voltage applied to an inductor, the current lags behind the voltage by phase angle pi by 2 or voltage leads the current by pi by 2. Okay, and an average power dissipated in a purely inductive circuit is given by it is 0 as power factor is equal to 0. Power factor for a purely inductive AC circuit is it is also 0. Phase difference between voltage and the current in pure inductive circuit is it is pi by 2. As the frequency of AC increases inductive reactance it is increases as Xc is Xl is equal to omega L is equal to 2 pi of L. Area F increases Xc increases. Inductive reactance is directly proportional to the self-inductance of the coil. That is, XL is directly proportional to L. 
an inductor offers very large reactance to very high frequency of ac okay uh, uh, first because x l is directly proportional to f if f increases xl also increases reactance offered by an inductor to direct current is almost zero because f is equal to zero for dc so therefore it will be almost zero reactance offered by inductor of self inductance l when connected across ac source is given by xl is equal to omega l si unit of inductance reactance is it is ohm an inductor stores the energy in magnetic field capacitor stored in electric field in a ac uh, in a series lci circuit at resonance net reactance is zero because xl is equal to xc both values will be zero therefore net reactance is equal to zero okay next question number 36 in ac uh, in a series lci circuit at resonance net impedance is equal to resistance because z is equal to root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square xl is equal to xc that implies z is equal to r z is equal to r in a series lci circuit at resonance inductive reactance is equal to the capacitive reactance in a series lci circuit at resonance potential difference across the inductor is equal to the potential difference across the capacitor because xl is equal to xc we can write i into vl is equal to i into vc i i get cancel vl is equal to vc therefore the option c will be correct in a series lci circuit at resonance power factor is 1 because there is a only the resistance is there current and voltage are in phase because the resistive circuit impedance of the circuit is equal to resistance that is also correct therefore all the above statements are correct in a series resonant circuit below the frequency the capacitive reactance is greater than the inductive reactance that is be, uh, below resonant frequency above resonant frequency inductive reactance is greater than the capacitive reactance in a series lci circuit current and the power dissipator is found to be maximum now the frequency frequency is given by omega r is equal to 1 divided by root of lc or fr is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into root of lc okay as here given this will be the correct answer question number 43 if r is a reactance xc is the capacitive reactance xl is the inductive reactance then impedance z is given by z is equal to root of r square plus xc minus xl whole square here xc is greater than x here current will be wattless in a ac circuit containing inductor and the a uh, capacitor because power factor is equal to 0 next question if r is a resistance xc is the capacitive reactance and xl is the inductive reactance and z is the impedance of the series uh, resonance circuit then the power factor that is cos phi is equal to r divided by z that is their inverse uh, theory classes dimension of omega root of omega c okay omega is equal to 1 divided by root of lc therefore it will be omega is equal to radian per second okay therefore you can write here it will be uh, m0 l0 t1 because it will be a reciprocal it will give a time period dimension of 1 divided by root of lc is, is nothing but radian per second radians has no unit only time therefore it will be m0 l0 t to the power of minus 1 frequency of an electrical oscillation of an ac circuit is given by that is omega omega not is equal to 1 divided by root of lc or f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into root of lc as the frequency of ac in uh, lcr circuit is increased the total impedance of the circuit decreases up to certain value and then increases impedance okay the circuit used for tuning the mechanism in a radio and tv set is called as series lcr resonant circuit okay there will be maximum sound will be heard electrical component needed for electrical resonant circuits are inductor and the capacitor in a series a resonant circuit frequency at which the current will be 1 by root 2 times the current at resonance are called as half power frequencies okay Uh, then uh, range of uh, frequency over which the current in a series resonance circuit is equal or more than 1 divided by root 2 times the current uh, at resonance are called as band width in a series series resonance circuit half power frequencies are the frequencies at which the current is 1 divided by root 2 times the current at resonance and the power is half that the resonance current is half at the resonance next 
ratio of frequency ratio of resonant frequency to band width is called as quality factor q is equal to fr divided by this one that is option a quality factor of a series lcr circuit is given by q is equal to 1 divided by r into root of lc if xl xc are the inductive capacitive reactance of lcr circuit at resonance then the quality factor okay all the values all the equations given all are correct therefore all the equations are correct assignment of quality factor it is a just a number therefore it has no unit as the bandwidth of a series resonance circuit increases quality factor decreases because q is equal to fr divided by f1 minus f2 this f1 minus m2 is called as it is bandwidth if bandwidth increases quality factor decreases frequency uh, principle of working of transformer is a mutual inductance transform is a device which increases or the decreases the amplitude of alternating current or the voltage in step up transformer step up transformer the secondary voltage is more than the primary and the secondary current is less than the primary in a step down transformer secondary voltage is less than the primary and the secondary current is more than the primary in a step up transformer number of turns in the secondary are more than the number of turns in the primary in a step down transformer the number of turns uh, in a secondary are less than the number of turns in a primary uh, a dc a dc battery is applied to a primary of a step up transformer voltage at the secondary will be zero because it will not work under dc current it will work transformer wo works only in a ac circuit next question question number 67 in a transformer primary and the secondary are wound over a iron core this is to reduce flux leakage okay there is a method of reducing uh, flux leakage okay in a transformer eddy current losses are minimized by laminated cores in a transformer heat loss due to resistance of the wire are minimized by using thick copper wires heat loss due to repeated magnetization and demagnetization of core of the transformer is called as hysteresis loss heat loss due to hysteresis in the form of transformers can be reduced by using a material as a core for which the area of hysteresis is least because area under the hysteresis curve gives energy loss therefore if it is less means there will be a less heat loss in order to reduce i square r power loss during transmission power is transmitted to the cable at high voltage but low current ratio of output power to the input power is called as efficiency given by eta is equal to p o divided by p i in uh, in an ideal transformer efficiency is equal to zero the quality uh, the quantity that doesn't change from input to output of a practical transformer is the frequency okay it will remain same input frequency if it is like uh, uh, 50 hertz is there and output it is also it will be 50 in a practical transformer output electrical energy will be less than input electrical energy because there will be no 100% efficiency thank you please subscribe sadan patshala for more such videos.